Never mind the torn Achilles tendon, Kobe Bryant is going to have to play a little defense. That shouldn't be hard for the Black Mamba, who's been selected to the NBA's all-defensive team 12 times, but now he has to keep his mother from scoring on some of his precious memorabilia. The Courier Post reports Golden Auctions in West Berlin wants to sell items from Bryant's pro career as a Los Angeles Laker and his days as a high school player in Philadelphia. Bryant's mother, Pamela Bryant, reportedly provided those items. According to the Huffington Post, Bryant sent a cease and desist letter to the auctioneer Tuesday to cancel the sale and return the items. The auction house turned around and filed a countersuit against Bryant just before the weekend, suing for the right to sell his stuff. Pamela Bryant reportedly made a deal with the auction house in January and received a $450,000 advance to buy a new home in Nevada. She claims Bryant had no interest in those precious memories five years ago. Among those items are two 2000 NBA championship rings Bryant designed for his parents, several high school jerseys, trophies, medals, and plaques and what is believed to be the earliest game-worn Kobe jersey. Fan cited reports the specific jersey was worn by Bryant when he played basketball in Italy. Bryant spent some of his childhood overseas where his father, Joe Jellybean Bryant, played professional basketball. The actual number of items vary from source to source, but they are reportedly worth $1.5 million in total value. ESPN Stephen A. Smith says while Bryant's legal qualm is with the auction house, the emotional toll has been the hardest thing for the superstar to bear. He believes himself to be somebody who has been incredibly generous uh, to his parents, somebody who has given them millions. So he was quite devastated over the matter. On Saturday, Bryant sent this tweet. When you give, 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 and they take, 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 at what point do you draw a line in the sand? The Philadelphia Inquirer reports Bryant's legal response to the countersuit must be submitted by Wednesday. A hearing is set before a U.S. District Court judge on May 20th. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.